Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. Just south of the United States of America, we have another set of United States, those being the United Mexican States, the official name for the country more commonly known as Mexico. Mexico is comprised of 31 states, giving us plenty of names to explain today. And in the same way the names of the USA states are made up of native and settled languages, so the names of the states of Mexico. Except, instead of English playing a large role here, it's Spanish. The names of the states of Mexico are a wonderful blend of Spanish as well as the many native tongues of Mexico's indigenous people. Some of these names might sound familiar to you too, as things from these states have become known across the globe, carrying their name, from dog breeds to hot sauces. So let's get on with this one shall we, and find out how exactly the states of Mexico got their names. However, before we begin, I'm sure some of you are already annoyed for me saying there are only 31 states, when there are kind of actually 32 states, that extra one being Mexico City. I won't really be including it here for a few reasons. One, because it's kind of seen as its own thing rather than another state. Two, because I already have a video all about this name and why it's the same as the entire nation. And three, because the surrounding state is also just called Mexico. All these reasons give me a very valid reason not to cover this one. But yes, that also means that in the country of Mexico, there's a state called Mexico. And by the state of Mexico is a city called Mexico. Also, spare a thought for me and my pronunciation in this video. Forvo is always my go-to place for pronunciations and I'll make sure to check everything there. However, in the quite likely event that I'll say things wrong, go check there for yourself or get mad at me in the comments, whichever option you prefer really. Anyway, let's start from the top, quite literally in this case, with the state of Baja California. This is an interesting one for sure, first because I'm sure you are familiar with the latter half of this name, and secondly because its name kind of contradicts its location in the nation. Baja California means Lower California. Despite being called Lower, it's actually the northernmost state. It is Lower California however as it's below the US state of California, which was once upon a time under Spanish slash Mexican rule. While this area is now split between the two nations, they share a name, with California coming from the mythical island of Calafia from the novel Las Sergas de Esplanandia, which inspired many conquistadors to discover the new world. From what I have seen of California, it's understandable as to why they compared it to an island paradise. Below Baja California, we have the state of Baja California Sur, which name simply means Southern Lower California. I guess it could also mean Lower Lower California too. Together, these two Mexican states and the US state make up a region of the world simply called the Californias. Thank you. The cat as we leave the Baja California Peninsula, we have the state of Sonora. I have seen a few ideas as to how this name came about. One is that it comes from the native Opata language and means place of the corn, while other sources say it comes from the Spanish word sonoros, meaning a loud ringing sound, supposedly because marble deposits in the caves here would ring aloud when struck. The state of Chihuahua is named after the city of the same name within the state, with the city's name believed to mean dry, sandy place, possibly in Nawat. Of course, a breed of dog has also been named after the city slash state that has since found its way into the homes and handbags of people all around the world. Next to this state is Coahuila, which once again is thought to come from Nawat. There are two ideas about this one, both of which are rather different. One idea is that the name means place of many trees, while another claims that the name means serpents that fly. Like I said, rather different ideas. One peaceful and nature loving, one horrifying. Then, over on Mexico's west coast we have the state of Sinaloa. This name doesn't seem to be as clear to us, but a couple sources point to it coming from a native word for a kind of fruit that has grown throughout this state. Durango is the only state of Mexico with a name of Basque origin, Basque being a language spoken in an area of Spain. This is because the state is named after a city also called Durango City within the state, and this city is named after a city also called Durango over in the Basque country of Spain. How this original settlement got its name however we don't seem to know, though one idea points to it meaning water town in Basque. However this city is rather inland, so that might not be entirely true. Zacatecas state is too named after the city of Zacatecas within it, with this name believed to come from Nahuatl meaning place abundant with grass.
class. The next state of Nova Leon has a name that is pretty easy to understand. Even for those like myself who don't speak any Spanish, it simply means New Leon, in ode to the former kingdom of Leon that used to take up so much of the Iberian Peninsula. Obviously this name comes from lions, because lions are pretty cool. Over to Mexico's east coast and we have the state of Tamaulipas. This name is thought to simply mean place of high hill slash mountains. I'm guessing this is due to the geography of the land. It looks pretty mountainous from pictures I can see online. The state of Nayarit has a name come from the Cora language of Mexico. It's believed to simply mean the place of Naya, with Naya being a Cora chief during the 16th century. What I like most about this state's name is that it sounds like a Scottish person saying, nah, you're alright. Next we have the rather small state with a rather long name, Aguascalientes. This name literally translates into meaning hot water. It might seem odd this state having a water based name to begin with as it's so inland. However, it makes more sense when you find that, that all around the state there are many natural hot springs, hence why this state is named after them. The state of San Luis Potosi seems to be named after two things, the first of those being King Louis IX of France. He is the only king to ever become a saint in the Catholic Church. Of course the Spanish Empire was incredibly Catholic, so it makes sense as to why they would name somewhere after this saint. But what about the Potosi part of this name? This part of the name is pulled directly from the city of Potosi in modern Bolivia. So why is this state in Mexico named after the city in Bolivia? Well it's because the state was very rich in silver and other mineable goods. This city in Bolivia was also a mining town too, rich in silver. So the state was named after this city as they both had a huge abundance of silver. The state of Jalisco's name however isn't from quite as deep origins. This is another very literal Nahuatl name. It can be translated into meaning sandy place or place with sand on the ground. As I mentioned it's very to the point. The state of Guaranjato on the other hand has one of the most unique names I've come across yet. It comes from the Prepritcha language and means either mountainous place of frogs or place of monsters frogs. The region is thought to have this name as the natives of the area believe that the surrounding mountains look like large monstrous frogs. It's a very unique name for a part of the world that's for sure. Kiritaro State also comes from the Perapitcher language too. However this name isn't as creative, it simply means place of cliffs, once again due to its natural geography. The state of Hidalgo is named after one person in particular, that being Miguel Hidalgo y Constilia, the man who is seen as putting Mexico on the path of independence and by and large is seen as the father of the nation. So it makes a lot of sense as to why a state would be named after him. Hidalgo also seems to have been a noble title of Spanish origin too. Taking up a large part of Mexico's east coast is the state of Veracruz. This state is named after the city of Veracruz within it, and this city's name simply means True Cross. This True Cross of course refers to the Cross of Christianity. As mentioned earlier, the Spanish Empire was deeply religious, hence why many of these names relate to religion. Vera meaning true, like it does here, is common in English words too, like how the name Veronica means true icon, or even with the word verify meaning to make sure something is true. The small state of Colima is once again named after the city within it. How this city got its name though we don't seem to be too sure. The best info I could find is that it comes from Nahuatl words for either ancestor or volcano. There is a volcano nearby with the same name so it could more likely be that latter option. The coastal state of Michoacan has a fittingly coastal name, meaning land of the fishermen in Nahuatl. Then we have the state of Mexico. Mexico, which is in the nation of Mexico and next to the city also called Mexico. As I mentioned this is a name we've already covered in a video unto itself so go watch that one for more information on the matter. But in summary the name comes from the Mexica Aztec people who are believed to be named after one of their gods, at least that's one idea anyway. Like I said, go check out the video. The state of Morelos is another one named after an important figure in the Mexican War for Independence. This time being Jose Maria Morelos, who took over the revolution when the aforementioned Miguel Hilago Huacosilla was executed. Then we have the state of Puebla, which once again is named after the city of Puebla within it. This apparently just means people. Why this is the case however I'm not too sure. The state of Tlaxcala however is named after one of my 
my favorite Mexican export, that being their breads, as this name has been defined as meaning either place of cornbread or more specifically, place of tortilla. I'm hungry just thinking about it. I should really do a video about how Mexican food got its name now that I think about it. There are some really interesting words in their cuisine. Food tangent aside, let's move on to the state of Grolero, which unfortunately is not named after the wrestling legend Eddie Guerrero. Instead, it is named after Vicente Guerrero, another key player in their war for independence. He was a fighter, and luckily enough, that surname relates to exactly that, meaning warrior. Not a terrible surname for a fighter and a pro wrestler to have, that's for sure. The state of Oaxaca, meanwhile, is named after a type of tree, rather than a famous person. It's believed to be Nahuatl, meaning the nose of the Juarez, with this nose possibly referring to an edible pod found on these trees. The state of Tabasco might have a name that is familiar with lovers of spicy food. The source makers themselves claim that the name Tabasco means either place where the soil is humid or place of the coral and oyster shells. Then we arrive at Mexico's most southern state, Chiapas. This name is believed to be descriptive yet again and mean the place where the chia sage grows. Interestingly, I only know of chia seeds and kind of forgot they grow into something. The state of Campeche has a name of Maya origins. Supposedly it means place of snakes and ticks, neither of which are the most fondly looked upon creatures. The state of Yucatan has a name with a couple of interesting stories wrapped around it. The most popular of these being the story in which a Spanish conquistador asked the native what they called this place. The native responded with something that sounded like Yucatan, but it actually meant I don't know what you are saying, which the Spaniards presumed was the name for the land. And finally, we have the state of Quintana Roo, which is yet another state named after a key figure in the War of Independence, that being Andres Quintana Roo. So, from war heroes of Mexico's past to interesting names of native origin, the names of these states really give us an interesting look into the history of Mexico. The state of Mexico was suggested by Nebi, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as the name explains patron saint of the state of Mexico. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explain video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and get your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and also join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain, both of which will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.